Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make photos into the look of powerful movie poster golden hour images from photos. In photography, the term golden hour, also known as magic hour, refers to the time of day shortly after sunrise or just before sunset during which daylight is redder, more golden in color, and softer than when the sun is higher in the sky. Open a photo that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one and the others from Shutterstock. Check your image's size and resolution by going to Image and Image Size. The size of this image is approximately 800 by 1100 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. If your image has a different resolution and a much different size, you'll need to adjust some of the filter setting amounts from the amounts that I'm using to get similar results as mine. We'll convert our image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively and adjust the filters at any time. To do this, click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Next, we'll automatically adjust its color cast and contrast by going to Image and Auto Tone. Auto Tone redistributes tonal values by separately boosting the contrast in the red, green, and blue channels. Next, we'll add a lens flare, which will add a warm light source to our image. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. I'll make the brightness 140%, but feel free to make it more or less intense. For the lens type, choose 105mm prime. Drag the flare to an area of your image that you want as a source of light. Now that we have the exact position of the lens flare, press Ctrl or Command Z to remove it from our image. In a moment, we'll add back the lens flare in the exact position onto a separate layer. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with black, but first, check your foreground and background colors. If they are not black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is your foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To place the lens flare onto this layer, press Alt Control F on Windows or Option Command F on a Mac, or you can go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. We'll remove the small color shapes and lens rings that appear outside the main flare because our final image will look better without them. To do this, open your brush tool and brush picker. Pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust the size in a moment. Make its hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. To adjust the size of your brush, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Now, brush over the small color shapes and lens rings. Change its blend mode to screen. This makes the black disappear over our photo. Double click the lens flare layer to open its layer style window. Click color overlay. Change its blend mode to soft light and click the color box. In the hexadecimal field, type in F, F, 9, C, 0, 0. Then click OK on both windows to close them, or you can press Enter or Return twice. We'll intensify the effect by making a copy of the layer. Press Ctrl or Command J. If the effect is too intense for your image, you can reduce its opacity. For this particular photo, I'll bring the opacity back to 100%. Next, we'll bloom out the lighter tones of our image. Make the photo active and go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and click Diffuse Glow. Make the graininess 0, the glow amount 1, and the clear amount 7. We'll convert all the layers into a smart object by shift-clicking the top layer to make all the layers active 
and clicking Convert to Smart Object. Next, we'll add a grainy texture to our image, which gives it an aged movie frame film appearance. Go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. Open the Effects panel. I'll make the grain amount 50, but feel free to increase it if your image is larger and or has a higher resolution. Make its size and roughness both 25. We'll soften it by going to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it anywhere from 0.5 pixels to 1 pixel. If you want to adjust the contrast, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Curves. If the bottom of the Curves panel is hidden, just drag it down. The diagonal line represents all the tones of an image. The bottom left is the darkest tone, and the top right is the lightest tone. For this image, I'll drag the lighter midtones down to darken them, and the darker midtones down to darken them as well. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.